believe and receive that you are a winner.
Oh, this one. Oh, oh, Welcome to Healthy Living with Ms. Renee the Barber. All right, let's get it in. Remember, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, the share, and the, um, what we do? Hit the share and, and the, the like button. The like button. The like button. And remember your comments as well. All righty then. Now, um, Tyler, how you been? I've been good. I did a lot of stuff this weekend. You, okay, I can't wait to hear uh -huh. about it. Alrighty then. Now, so um, let's. Um, oh, we gotta take our swig of water. Okay, you got your water with you. Uh -huh. If you're new to this channel, just so you know, we always start the session out with a swig of water together. Now, if you don't have your water, put the put hit that pause button. And then we'll be here when you get back. Alrighty? Alright, you ready, Tyler? Alright, let's take that squeeze together. Ah, you know, we like to pop it like that. Alrighty then. Now, before we start our Sunday mukbang dinner, we're going to say our prayer. Alright, so let's get ready to bow our head and say our prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this food that we're about to receive. We thank you for our friends, our viewers, our family. Lord, please add a hedge of protection around them as they go on their journey. And Lord, we just want to thank you for keeping us strong. In your mighty name, we close this prayer out in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. All right, so just so you know what we're eating today. This is a um, spaghetti squash, spaghetti squash, as well as um, this is the um, sauce, okay? The sauce for the spaghetti. And we have a very nice tossed garden salad. All right, okay. So let's get it in. I'll go first this time, Tyler. Uh, Tyler taking too long. <laughs> Tyler, you taking too long, uh, okay? Alright. Uh, Alright, Man, I had a let me get some of the sauce. Man, I had a busy, busy week. Yeah, this I did too. Sauce. I want to hear about your week, Tyler. that over so just so you know what I just used the um, I don't know, let me stand up I, I just used the shell of the zucchini squash as my bowl and I put that sauce right on in there can you can you let me see can you can see that can you can you can you can you can you can you see that can you can you can you see that <laughs> you know what I feel like I feel like I feel good today okay I feel good yeah, let me show, let me let me tell them about this little thing right here. You see this little thing right here? That is a measuring spoon. This is a half a cup. Let me show you what it looks like. It's got the sauce in it now. We're using it to dip the sauce out. But I got this thing probably a good 15 years ago from Weight Watchers when I was a Weight Watchers member. I got the cup. The cup is in the drawer back there, and this is a half a cup. These things are great. You need to measure out like a cup. You just scoop it in, mix, level it off. These are great. I don't know if they still sell these, but this is Weight Watchers. Alrighty. All right. Putting a little balsamic on my salad there. 
how did you get your cheese? You forgot your cheese. Oh, I was too hungry. <laughs> Tyler was too hungry. I know how you feel, Tyler, oh. when it get about this time because it takes a minute to get everything set up, cook the meal. I don't want to like eat. Still uh, trying to do my intermittent fasting. And uh, went to church this morning. And um, anyway, this is my first meal of the day. And yeah, I'm hungry. You know, cooking it, you smell the aroma. I didn't want to keep tasting it. I hope I don't make a mess. Mm. Mm. But, all that good, good. <laughs> That's some good, good. You think? See, oh, it do taste like spaghetti. See? No, see. Oh, see? I see. Okay, I see why it's called spaghetti squad. Oh, you see why? Uh, yeah. Why? Tell me why. Because it's like it's like noodles exactly. when you scrape it. Exactly. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. This is good. And I like how you can use the um the shell as a bowl. Mm -hmm. Ella called. Ella's calling right yeah. now. Let her know the video. Mm. Ella, that's my daughter. That's Tyler's girlfriend. Hey, Elle. Oh uh, yeah, we recorded. Hello, people. You can put it. You can put put it up to so. Put it up so that the people can see and hear Ella. Say it again, Elle. Hello, beautiful people. Ella, we can't see your head. Was that planned by design? Yes. Okay, Ella doesn't want us to see her. <laughs> she don't want anybody to see her right now. All right, sweetie, we'll call you when it's, when uh, a little later, okay? All righty. All right, I see you. So, actually last Sunday, let me just mention this, okay, Tyler. Uh -huh. well, last Sunday, I didn't do mukbang. And Tyler wasn't here, but she was in D.C. Uh -huh. visiting Ella. So, you want to tell us about that trip? Uh, it, was, it was nice. So, pretty much, I booked a, uh, you know, a plane ticket to D.C. She stays like... Like it's like in the it's an apartment complex in the middle of campus, so it's real like real convenient, real nice place. Nice. It's it's a big city. It's like Chicago, but not not you know, it's not Chicago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. it's a nice school, big campus, gigantic campus, a lot mm -hmm. of stuff to do around the campus. Awesome. Yeah. So what did you guys um do? You got there. You spent the entire weekend, right? Uh huh. I stayed Thursday through Sunday. So yeah, we went. We pretty much explored like the camp. She showed me around campus, showed me around DC. I got to see like the White House, uh, the Pentagon. We took pictures everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we did a lot of stuff. Went to a casino. You guys went to a casino? Uh huh. Y'all win any money? We both won. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Didn't even tell me. Oh, yeah. She didn't even tell me. I won like a hundred dollars playing blackjack. Awesome! I didn't even know you play blackjack. I do. I do. Mmm. Mmm. Was was it was it just chair squeaking? So was it a um? How was the casino compared to the casinos here in the Chicago land area? I actually like them better. I like them better. Mmm. Because inside the casinos, it was way more stuff to do. They had different floors. Mm -hmm. They had like a club inside the casino. I don't think we, I don't think they got that from the one out here. Okay. But it was real. It was real nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they had a lot more tables too, so you didn't have to like sit around and watch other people wait till they had to get up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. cool. Okay. Um, Ella attends Howard University HBCU. 
Historical Black College in Washington, D.C. Working on her master's in economics. <clears throat> and she's a, um, what is she, a teacher? Um, mm -hmm. Like teacher's assistant. Yeah, teacher assistant while she's there, which is awesome. And she's also on the research research team for um, economics. No, no. Well, she's on a research team in the area of economics. And is that? Wait a minute. I want to look at something here. Oh, okay, that's Tyler's shirt. I'm sorry. Yeah. That little square there. I wanted to make sure that it wasn't just a square, but that's your shirt. Yeah. yeah never mind. My oh. eyes are playing with me. Never mind. <laughs> I'll edit that out. Oh. <coughs> yeah, Ella's on a research team. Um, with the Department of Economics and they're researching um, why do students, why are they attracted and why do they choose to go to HBCUs. And it's a four-year research program. And this is her second year <clears throat> on the research team. So Um, how did you like Ella's, um, you like her, um, how she got it set up? Oh, it's set up real nice. Mm -hmm. So, when you go in, they give you a closet. It's like a, like a regular apartment. They give you a uh, closet, nice bathroom. Mm -hmm. It's a nice bathroom. Mm -hmm. No, it's a nice, she got a nice view too. I like the city. Mm -hmm. Like, I, you look outside her window, you can see all the buildings. Nice. Yeah, it's real nice. Okay. I haven't been there yet, but so what you doing this weekend, Tyler? Cause I did a lot this weekend. So yesterday mm -hmm. we went paintballing. Oh, I've never done that. Yeah. That's yeah. in the city, or did you go out to the we suburbs? We drove all the way out to Dundee, Illinois. Where Dundee? Uh huh. Up there by the mall. Oh, I don't know if it was by the mall. Okay. But or Great America, where's Dundee? Dundee. Yeah. I, it was like an hour away, it was far. Okay. But it was fun. So we had to go, you know, we went on Groupon and nice. bought some tickets and okay. then they shipped them in the mail. So, yeah. you know, we got a discount rate for like six of us. Played for around like four hours. What? It hurt, it hurt though. It hurt. <laughs> yeah, you, you gonna feel it. I mean, I can only imagine if you're too close. Even if you far, oh, they shoot off, they, they hit you. So, when you go paintballing, does that mean that um, only the four of you playing or you playing against other people? Oh, too? you can play with all, it's all types of people there. So they pretty much tell you, it's a it's a whole bunch of land with a whole bunch of different like arenas and they'll call on a giant microphone like, oh, this one's about to be open right now. So if you want to play right here, uh -huh. come over here. Yeah. And then they got like beginner games and experience games, like people who like do this as an actual sport. Really? Yeah. Really? I didn't know that. Oh yeah, this this they, they got professionals. So at the end, did you play with any of those at, individuals? Cause I know yeah. that was hurting. I know that hurt. At the end, when it was time for us to go, they was like, we might as well play with the professionals one time just to see how it is. So we go to the professional game. In the beginner game, they give you like you can only shoot like single shot guns, you know, the paintball gun, the rentals. But in the uh, advanced games, these people bring their own that they bought. <laughs> all types of fully automatic paintball gun equipment. What? They got their own equipment. Different rules to the game because if you get too close to somebody, you can tell them like to surrender so you won't have to shoot them like. Because they gonna feel it if they super close. Oh really? Yeah. But did but if you're that close, wouldn't it make sense to surrender? It would. Or you gonna take the pain? Oh, I think you gotta surrender. If you don't surrender, uh, if they shoot you, uh, you would get out if you, you know. Now, is there like any kind of equipment that you have to wear to? Because I think I've heard where people had their eyes put out or something like oh, that. Oh yeah, you require to wear a face mask. That's it. Oh okay. That's the only thing. You can go out in a t-shirt if you want to. But you gotta wear a face mask. So, at the end, when you got all that paint on you, mm -hmm. do you bring a change of clothes or do they have a shower or? Oh no, just bring a change of clothes. 
Mm -hmm. Just throw them in the bag, switch, your, switch your everything out. Make sure your seats don't get dirty. But the best part is uh, the, all the paint is like washable. So it won't really stand oh. off anything you got. Okay. Excuse me. So how long is the session? So they say, okay, we're going over. You said it, they, they announce when one of them is open, uh -huh. right? Yeah, they last, they last like 10 minutes. But the 10 minutes, like it's so much action going on. That 10 minutes feel like, like, like two. Uh, and some of the matches like 15 minutes, you be in there, all you hear is like shots getting let off. Maybe like, all right, two minutes left. And I'm like, I just got in here. <laughs> Feel the adrenaline pumping. So, is it like, when you, I've never been paintball. I hear about it, I wanted to go, but now, mm -mm, that's beyond me right now. But, when you start, are you like in a line? Or you, they just like ring a bell? They yell it out. They just. Shoot. They tell, they, Where are you? Behind a rock? I mean, can you, isn't it like different compartments? Yeah, they, they build like maps outside. They, they throw a building right here. Like a small little shack. Some car, old, super old cars full of paint. You hide behind stuff. They got like walls they built. Okay. So there's all types of stuff to hide around. So before you start, they split you to two teams. They're like, alright, this team, you gotta start at the back of the map. You get to choose your team? Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Because they, they gotta make it even. Okay. They team even. Yeah. And so then they say, they ring a bell, they just say, okay, they go. They say, the match about to start, and they yell, like, three, two, one. I say, go. <laughs> you bet, ready or not, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, it's fun. I'll go again. Yeah. you go again? Yeah. Did Larry go? Uh huh. Mm. Larry. Larry is, um, that's your cousin or your best friend? Oh, my cousin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so did you were you on a team to win? And how do you know you won? How do you know you won? Once everybody once you get shot, you gotta raise your hand like oh I'm out. And then you leave the the, the you site. Just, yeah, you just leave the site. Okay. So And they got a whole bunch of moderators in the game too, like referees so, who watch. Oh yeah, they they pretty much stand in the middle of all the crossfire. They used do to. they get hit too? Sometimes they do get hit, but they used to. It's like who used to get hit? No, nah. <laughs> they get hit. Okay, so um, hold on, hold on a second. Um, so say, so they hit. So you get hit. You go out. How many? Um, so. You, so when is it over? When that one team is defeated? Or you only have four minutes, that's it? You get like 15 minutes. And once everybody, you see the, the whole team gonna get out from getting shot, or the match gonna have a time limit when the 15 minutes up. And they gonna yell it like, two minutes left, one minute left, and they go like nine, eight, seven, six, and then they like, stop shooting, match is over. Okay, so uh, how do they determine who won then? Uh, once uh, either one of the teams gonna get out. Because so, everybody got shot. So it's like even, we start yeah. out with even players. Yeah. And then at the end, after 15 minutes, then if you one team got two players and the other team got five, then the one with the five wins, something like that? Um, they necessarily, I mean, because the way they do it, it's like, the only way you really win is if you get the whole team out. Okay. Yeah. Other than that, it's just pretty much everybody just let it shoot each other. I think that's awesome. Yeah. Ooh, that's awesome. Mm. Oh, yeah, we were all in the woods. Well, so do they do it at night time too? I, I I don't think they do it at night. I don't know. I don't know. I know they do it in the winter time but too. In the winter right? time? Yeah, I think they do it when it's snowing too. And is it outdoor or indoor? Yeah, it was outdoor. Oh. They do have some outdoor places too. What was the name of that place? Paintball Explosion. In Dundee, Illinois. Wow. And got your tickets from Groupon. There's a lot going on this weekend. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Wow. Mm. Mm. And then afterwards, we went downtown. Mm -hmm. Just you know, just to explore the nightlife. It was it was nice. Downtown Chicago. Yeah. Oh wait a minute. So yesterday was the perfect day to be downtown because you had the. Windy City Classic. 
The classic was yesterday, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. It was a lot of people out. Right. Hampton versus Howard. They should have had some concerts going on. And was there a lot of folks down there? Yeah, there was a lot of people. I mean, it's always a lot of people down there. Sometimes more so than others, but yeah. Wow. That, sound, that sounds, uh, you had an exciting weekend. So mm -hmm. did you stop at any restaurants? Oh, no, no, nothing special to eat. Okay. We just kept okay. it, we got some fast food and just kept it to keep it moving. Okay. It All fun. right. Cool, cool. Awesome. Ooh, I feel it. I want another one, but I can't. I can't. I'm full too. You full too? Yeah. We get full at the same time. Look at that. Well, I wanted to mention a couple of things that I did over the weekend. Um, that I hope that uh, you'll follow me, continue to follow um, Healthy Living with Ms. Renee the Barber because this coming week or so I'll show you exactly some of the items. I just happen to be out shopping. Do you ever shop at uh, Aldi's? I went and got groceries this week. You ever shop at Aldi's? You don't grocery shop. Right? Not really. Not but you've been to Aldi's, yeah. right? Okay. So at Aldi's I was just getting ready to leave. I had got some things. I was just getting ready to leave. And in the, one of the previous videos I had mentioned that I need to get away from the oil. And so I think that was Saturday morning. Saturday afternoon, I met all these and I went, I was getting ready to leave, check out, and I said, just go down the household aisle. Because you know, all these has really come up. Wow. I, all these has come up. They got organic, they got fruits and vegetables. I mean, they're, they're very competitive now. Not like it was like 15 years ago when you, they only had one kind of cornflake box and a uh, mm -hmm. box of grits or you know package of hot dogs now they got a whole slew of stuff wine household goods frozen goods anyhow i keep looking over here because it's sitting right here but it's a digital food dehydrator ah uh. yeah so now um um see how to use that because being a raw food, I eat raw food. I was just explaining to you, Tyler, that it seemed like I'm turning into a vegetarian. And I, I really had planned that as the months got cooler, I wanted to make some soups and things like that. So we know that being a raw food, um, if you know, if since I'm eating raw food, raw food is considered anything cooked under 115 degrees. So when I use the stove or the oven, like I did the squash here at 400 degrees in the oven well that's not that's not raw food right so i can use now my de dehydrator to help me um process food okay that i don't have to use heat on so i'll be uh, doing a tutorial on that this week and um <clears throat> you know I've, I've been watching uh i don't know if you guys watch tyler i don't know if you know who be loved life is the lady that does the seafood boils uh -huh. and she comes on and says um hi be lovely you ever I, seen? I think i have i think <laughs> i have all righty then she's a very popular uh -huh. youtuber and um so anyway she just launched her first uh, batch of smackalicious seasoning for the seafood boil so i was able to get online and purchase i was one of the fortunate ones to be able to get online and purchase her seasoning so because now it's sold out until the next batch comes through so tyler i hope that you can make it out next sunday i don't expect tyler to come out every sunday but i do appreciate when he does come out so hopefully next sunday you'll be able to come out and we can have a seafood boil and i hope that you guys join us on that you like seafood i do i do like we're gonna have some i don't know if we'll have lobster but i'm gonna try and find out because I think she goes to Sam's Club. Uh -huh. I don't have a Sam's Club member, but your mommy got one, right? Uh, she got Costco. Oh, I'll be like, hello. Hello, Terry. <laughs> hey, you going to Costco? All right, yeah, I'm going to get some uh, king crab legs. I don't know what I'm going to get. Crab legs, snow crab, blue crab, whatever. And uh, we're going to do it. We're going to do it up. So I hope you can join us um, next Sunday. Um, well, that's the plan, okay? Now, yesterday, I had said that I was hoping to get, what, six more subscribers to make 100 subscribers. I mean, it's only been, uh, you could probably, 
probably say approximately a month now. And guess what God did? Guess what God did? You got the subscribe. Yeah, so I'm up to woo -hoo, woo -hoo, woo -hoo, 100 subscribers in just uh, approximately 30 days because my first post was August 13th or 14th. And here it is, <clears throat> September, what's today? The 15th? Oh, uh, yeah, I think, I think so. it's, yeah, it's the 15th. So, I'm um, 100, 100 subscribers, and I'm thankful, and I thank everyone for your time. Um, you're, you're really motivating me and inspiring me, and I really do appreciate it. I hope you continue to follow me. I have a lot of uh, things, uh, great things to show you as far as losing weight on my uh, weight loss journey, things that I do. I've been practicing my hula hoop come October the 7th. Hey. I'm going to be a lot further along, <laughs> okay? And, um, yeah, so those are the things I wanted to share with you that uh, I'm looking forward to showing you over the next couple of weeks, okay? So, Tyler, you didn't get your cheese, huh? Oh, I ate it. See, oh, you did? Uh-huh. Okay. So I have to get extra things for Tyler because he's not a um, raw food, uh, plant-based um, person, mm -hmm. but... He does like, you do like vegetables, right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess that's about it. I don't want to like make this video too long. Anything else you want to share? I don't know. Um, that's about it. That's about it? Okay. All right. Well, then we're going to close on out then. Let me get a little water before I close out. And then I'll grab my bottle of water. Hold on. know if you see but <clears throat> I'll put that lemon right in there a well, half a lemon right in there all right then <clears throat> let's close it on out all right <clears throat> don't forget please subscribe hit the subscribe button if it's in red hit it when it turns black it's going to add the ED on the end and then that's how you know you subscribe after you subscribe, it's gonna drop. There's gonna be a drop down box. I think it's in blue, and then it's gonna be notified notification with a bell. Just hit that so that that's the notification bell. So whenever I drop videos, then um, I will. Uh, you'll be notified. Okay. Please share share the content with people you think may need just a little push on their diet just becoming healthy um and um comment comment i love the comments um uh, there's a couple comments i still have to respond to um there's a lady uh, <clears throat> that has a youtube channel she watches me We're, we've been communicating with each other the name of her channel is no excuses so please check her out she is another one that's on her weight loss journey Alrighty then, I'll be uh, commenting with you, no excuses, real soon. And um, remember, hold your thumb up, hit the like button. <laughs> Alright, because YouTube is monitoring all of that, okay? So, you ready, Tyler? Uh -huh. Alright. Yeah. Alright, so yeah. So, we're back. Guess what? The camera cut off right when we were given the uh, healthy living swig. So we're back now. So here's the healthy living. 